iBit Security 360, very simple to install, no extras to go with it, it's a simple straightforward installation and you get the user interface which looks like this and at the moment it's a beta program of which there are plenty with Windows 7 looming in the system tray you'll have the little red S to show you it's there the first thing you want to do is to update so click next, download the update and click finish now PC security analysis scans the health status of your internet and system security uh, so it looks for files and folders that are junk and missing security patches now here it's found for security holes if you click on show details it's a security update for Windows click fix and it downloads and installs it from Microsoft servers this will require a reboot to complete the installation but I'll do that later on now if I go to the privacy problems this is very much like CCleaner and if you use uh, or you save your passwords then untick the autofill password form boxes or the saved form and so on uh, recent documents is unticked by default as is MS Office and I tend to tick all of them and clear all the junk out and here it's found 145 kilobytes click clean it won't clean all of it because I've got Firefox running in the background junk files clean simply click analyze if it finds anything click clean and that's it if you go into tools hijack scan now here you can create a hijack this log file you can scan and save a log and then upload this to forums that can troubleshoot it for you if you have a problem with your computer and it saves it as a text file the same as hijack this does you can look at running processes, startup items, services uh, you can hide the windows services, you can stop and start services and you can look at the status of them browser helper objects are all listed downloaded files internet explorer extensions and internet explorer settings which show your home page and default pages etc now passive defense this is all disabled and all you have to do is click enable all and this apparently prevents the installation of ActiveX based spyware adware, hijackers, dialers uh, other pests that you really don't want and the protection is now enabled uh, just close it unlock and delete if you have a file or folder that you can't delete you can browse for it or you can simply drag and drop it into here and click delete and I won't use that one but I will bring in another one I'll drag and drop it into there and simply delete it and that's it gone PC tune-up will take you to the iBit homepage and prompt you to download iBit System Care, which I've covered previously. And let's go back to the settings. Here, if you go to Schedule, you can enable a schedule scan, a smart scan or full scan. You can change the schedule simply click on settings you don't want it to run for 72 hours if it does you've got a problem uh, I'll change that to 3, click apply and you can change the time, the day whether you want it to run weekly, monthly, whatever and whether you want it to run every 1, 2, 3, 4 weeks the choice is yours pick a day and click OK that's it quarantine I downloaded a number of programs and visited some dodgy sites and out of that it found six objects which it deleted or stopped the installation of one which was antivirus plus you can add to the ignore list uh, check for updates when the program starts I had a problem with this because it froze my computer every time it tried to do an automatic update uh, prompt for action after update completed Protect, you have high level protection which apparently monitors and stops all threats. Uh, 
a pop-up window for each threat and so on. Recommended level monitors and stops dangerous threats only. DOG is the Digital Original Gene, which is a heuristic malware detection algorithm which is used to enhance detection of zero-day threats. Transparency, this is negligible really. I think you can set the transparency to high end. It's very limited, but I tend to leave it as it is. Protect, you can click on either of those and tick them on or off. And you have smart scan, full scan, custom scan. We'll do a smart scan and just let it run see if it picks anything else up that I haven't deleted yet and as you can see it's found that the security center is disabled which is because I've disabled my antivirus and anti-malware protection uh, it found a misleading installer so I'll allow it to remove that one and that's it, it's done it now if you compare this with a scan I did with malware bytes the first thing I did was to update and I visited a lot of rogue sites and downloaded Trojans, backdoor Trojans and so on and just let it run rogue antivirus and I did a scan with Iobit which as you saw it found six items malware bytes found 49 which is quite a big difference and if you look at the results there's Trojans which are browser helper objects uh, which hijack the browsers uh, Home Antivirus 2010 Trojan Fake Alert, System Security and so it goes on Fake Dropped Malware, Fake Alerts it's all there, it's found all of the malware that was downloaded uh, and this is what Iobit Security 360 missed so I've deleted all of those through malware bytes now we'll leave the reports page look at the quarantine and this is what I bit actually found it was seven items in total so not that impressed and not something I would say go out and use this because I think malware bytes is better a vast antivirus will also find a lot and it will give you good protection this is not a program that I would use for real-time protection it's quite disappointing if you want more information check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk